another It's All Been Done Radio Hour. This week is kind of special because it's the last one we're going to do out of order. From now on, we're going to release the podcast in the chronological order that we perform them, which is something we've never done before. We've always kind of mixed it up to try to make certain segments appear more regularly. But now you're just going to get them the way we uh, perform them, starting with the November show. Um, from 2016, which will be unspooling over the month of June here. But before that, we've got one last episode from Out of Order. This is a very special Universe Journey remix rerun that we performed at ComFest last summer. There is a ComFest coming up real soon in Columbus, Ohio, so you might want to check that out. You also might want to check out our next live show on Saturday, June 10th at 5.30 p.m. at Mad Lab Theater. When you're at madlab.net slash tickets, buying tickets, go ahead and get a one for the Mad Lab show as well. Uh, of course, if you're not in the Columbus, Ohio area, you should totally come to Columbus and check us all out. But if you're not there, it might be easier for you to go to IBDPresents.com. That's our parent network with podcast written work and more. Check out It's All Been Written, our short story contest that we had earlier in the year. We've now started releasing the winners weekly on our website at IBDPresents.com so you can see who those top writers were from our theme. And we're going to do it again next year, so keep an eye on the website if you're a writer and would like to participate. Also, a big shout-out to Circle270 Media, which is a network this podcast is a part of. So head on over to circle270media.com to see what else they have to offer. And now enjoy this Universe Journey episode. This is Universe Journey. It's 2424. Humanity has left our planet for the first time seeking out new races and places. The intrepid crew of the Starship ASS Thrifty boldly go where a few people have gone before. First, there's Captain Kake, the bold commander of the crew. I am boldly in charge. <laughs> so you think. To his right, Science Officer Lieutenant Commander Meow Meow. I am not evil. Well, no one accused you of that. Of course, Chief Engineer Foley is here. Oh, 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 yes, 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 oh. Don't worry. Don't worry, he's okay. Along with the ship's physician, Dr. Awshucks. Well, Awshucks, I thank you kindly, sir, for the introduction. And last, but certainly not least, Security Chief, Who Grappa. Me, who? Let's get started. Space, I am in you. We travel far beyond the stars From Pluto all the way to Mars And beyond, for we go much, much, much further With lots of enthusiastic fervor Our mission is never ending Like Facebook Ever friending, join us every month on our journey. Though you may want an attorney, for we won't be held liable for your claims. And if you ask us again, we'll say the same, 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 same. same. Tonight's episode, Weekend at Commander Sanders. We join the ASS Thrifty and her crew in orbit around the party world Toplesia 1. Captain, we've arrived at Toplesia 1. Thank you, Chief Engineer Foley. Let's go down. How exciting. Sorry, lass. You're staying here. Aw, you never take me anywhere. Fitzgerald Fitzsimmons, you're an assistant engineer. I brought you up here onto the bridge, didn't I? What more do you want? I'm only here so you can go away on the mission. Still less, you're here. And ain't it grand? Captain Carquet, I would like to once more state that Admiral Jameson asked us to proceed to Inglesia 10, not Toplesia 1, to pick up our new first officer, Commander Sanders. Oh yeah, well I'm pretty sure he said Toplesia 1, Lieutenant Commander. He did not. Why would a starship's first officer be on the party planet? 
Why wouldn't he beam you, Baka? That's where we all should be. And even if I'm wrong, which I never am, Inglesia is only one, you know, system over. We'll take a quick look around. If he's not here, we'll, we'll try your place tomorrow or next week. Hmm, well, that does not sound like an efficient use of resources. Mutant Clan, you're in charge. Foley, who? With me. No, boys! I'd rather not. And why not, Lieutenant Who? Lots of nudity. Not tasteful. Uh, That part is optional, though strongly encouraged. Who stays dressed? I will go in Lieutenant Who's place, sir. No, no. Who can come and just leave his shirt on? (laughs) Have fun being boring up here, meow meow. Fully, shirts off and let's go. Ah, feel that sun, Foley. I need to not wear a shirt more often. It agrees with me. As you know, sir, I'm Irish. Me people are of a fair complexion. Perhaps I should have left me tunic on. Ah, well, when in Roma. Lord, have mercy. This place looks like Gamora in ancient Greece had a slutty stripper baby. <laughs> All shucks. What you doing here? We're at the party planet. You thought I'd let you fellas have all the fun and drinking without me? Generally, you need to ask your captain's permission before coming down to a planet, but since you're already here, I guess you can join us for one round. (laughs) That's crazy talk. I'm going to join y'all for all the rounds. Well, you're definitely getting into the spirit of things quickly, Doctor, and now your top is off. (laughs) <laughs> Not becoming of ASS officer. Oh. Uh, Foley, uh, don't be rude. Uh, can I buy your boobs? I mean, you, a drink, all shucks? <laughs> all right, put your tongues back in your mouths. I'm not doing this for all y'all. Um, those cute cabana boys over there, they look like they might need a checkup, or maybe a full physical, if you know what I mean. Care to join me, who? Fine. Better you than them. All right, well, suit yourself. Plenty of eye candy to go around, though I don't see any quite as big as yours at present, Dr. Allshucks. And you're not likely to. Come. Far be it from me to stand in the way of drinking. But shouldn't we be picking up our first officer first, before we get too pissed? Chief Foley, I'm surprised at you. Well, just, you know, so we could buy him a drink, you know, to get to know him, sir. Ah, now I'm less surprised. Lead the way. Uh, Damn it, Meow Meow, can't we have five minutes of fun without you showing up to ruin it? I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but I was monitoring you from the starship. I saw you had not left this spot and assumed you were already too drunk to find the First Officer's dwelling on your own. I thought you said we came to the wrong planet. Yes, well, after you beamed down, I had Lieutenant Fitzsimmons radio Inglesia 10. It turns out that Commander Sanders decided to await your arrival here on Tosmesia 1. That's my kind of guy. And so I acquired the details of his accommodations. Well, well, look at you, Meow Meow, taking initiative. Perhaps you're good for something after all. Oh, well, I'm surprised that you notice. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I am good for many things, and I am a very capable science officer, and yet you always... Lads, lads, we're on a party planet. There are topless women and topless booze all around us. Why are we fighting? As always, excellent point, Foley. Lead on, Mubaka. The sooner we locate my new XO, the sooner we can locate my drunken hookup. Ding! Ding! Hmm. It doesn't sound like anyone's home. Uh, He must be down at the party. I will check. Lieutenant Commander Meow Meow to ASS Thrifty. Come in, Thrifty. This is the Thrifty. Lieutenant Fitzsimmons, has Commander Salmon Sanders left his hotel room? Uh, no, sir. He's still there. Thank you, Fitzy. 
Is there anything else, sir? Need another pair of hands? No, uh, you're not a main character. I think you've reached your quota of lines for this mission anyway. Thrifty out. <laughs> well played. Maybe Commander Sanders had a wee bit too much crick and passed out, sir. Well, you know what? Let's find out. Hotel door, Captain Override. Authorization Alpha Delta 64 Gamma. <laughs> what? How did you do that? ASS authorization code should not work on a hotel room. Magic. Hmm. Oh, blimey O'Reilly. What? What is it? Oh. Meow meow. Go, go check on him. No, I can tell from here that Commander Sanders is dead. You can't possibly tell that unless you check his pulse. Well, why don't you check his pulse? Foley, go check his pulse. He's got to be 200 years old. Even if he was still alive, I don't think he'd have a pulse. <laughs> there you feel, are. I ordered us a round of shots. All shucks drunk. We can see that, who. You're just in time, Dr. All shucks. Take a look at Commander Sanders here. Uh, yeah, he's dead. You did not even approach the body. I'm a doctor? I don't need to. Are you questioning my medical judgment? Who will examine? Yes, Commander Sanders dead. Hmm, well, if Commander Sanders is indeed dead, then we need to return to the ship right away and contact Admiral Jameson. Meow Meow to Thrifty. This is the Thrifty. Believe that. Why the hurry, Meow Meow? Well, we must inform the Admiral so that he can tell us where we need to go to pick up another First Officer. Well, we can't leave now. I haven't even had one drink yet. Here you go. Thank you. Woo! Oh, boy. We can't leave now. I've only had one drink. Captain ASS regulations state Screw the regulations. We're going to party with Commander Sanders after all. Why? Because I have an idea. Idea to bring... Commander Sanders back from dead? Can't be done. Trust me. I'm a <coughs> doctor. Pardon me, Captain. I hate to disagree with you. I know you can do almost anything, but I've never heard anyone coming back to life. Trust me. Who? Help me lift him up. Mm. Mm. Alright. And, um, yeah, uh, someone grab me those sunglasses. Ugh. I do not see how this pair of ocular protectors will aid you in restoring life to a deceased man. Of course you don't. Here, hold the head up. Yeah. Oh, all right, and then... Oh, I see on her face. It's face. Yes, the face. But, but why? Uh, uh, all right, now, let's go. Go where? Captain. Why, back to the party, of course. What? Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, aye, Captain. I've oh, seen this movie. Oh. A great idea. Dr. Oshucks, shots, please. <laughs> you took too long. I drank them all myself. Page turn. Well, oh. we'll get some more. Come on. I, I'm still here. Do you need anything? No, lass. Go back to work now. Bernie, they know ya! It looks like Commander Sanders had time to make a few friends before we arrive. To the bar! Oh, Captain, I must strongly protest this course of action. Who agree? Duly noted, a bartender. Six shots of tequila, please. Top shelf. Well, top shelf for me and for Bernie here. Middle shelf for Foley. Who and the doctor and, uh, bottom shelf for Meow Meow. No thanks. Cotton. I believe Commander Sanders offered to take care of the tab, didn't he? Oh, oh, right, right. Uh, charge it to Bernie's room here. Bernie. Captain Kake, you bring a corpse to a party, desecrating the remains of a decorated ASS officer, and take advantage of his account, and you call me evil. Shh, lighten up, Meow Meow. Here, drink your tequila. Oh, well, regulations state that officers should not imbibe while conducting official fleet business. What business? Damn it, we're on top. Please see one, Meow Meow. Get with the spirit. Take off your shirt. <laughs> drink some spirits to get in the spirit. Ah! 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 Nice. Ah. Nice one, Chief. 
Well, Captain, I really must... Meow, meow. Just... I order you to drink this tequila shot. What do regulations say about following a captain's orders? Well, I... Mm, uh, fine. Give it to me. Wait, Mew Mew! Don't! <laughs> oh. Well, oh, that is actually quite delicious. Oh, no. m- may I have yours, who? No! Thank you. No! Mm-hmm. Seriously! No one likes tequila on their first time. It, it appears that I do. Hmm. Ooh, this is downright heavenly. Bartender, two more rounds of the same. Oh my. Hmm. It's really quite remarkable, this euphoric feelings that beverage is invoking in me. It's like... It's we all like, know what drinking hmm. feels like, Meow Meow. Here, do another. Mm. Mm. Welcome to the club. Hey, scaly skin. Keep doing shots and I might make out with you a little. <laughs> Never mind, I forgot you have scaly skin, scaly skin. That creeps me out. Don't touch me. Who, come over here and book her up. No, thanks. Oh. Bernie, I, I thought you'd gone by now. Uh, you were supposed to meet Kake and... Captain Kake? What am, what am I doing on Inglesia 10 and... Dr. Oshucks. Nice breasts. <laughs> well, <laughs> these, thanks. Thanks, sir. If I may, Admiral Jameson, you are not on Inglesia 10. This uh, is Toplicia 1. Uh, that, that's what I thought, but I, I sent you all on Inglesia 10, didn't I? If you sent us there, that's where we'd be, wouldn't we? <laughs> I rhyme. You must have made a mistake, Admiral Jameson. No, no, sir. You did not send us. Oh, no, you did send us to Inglesia 10. Uh, Then then what are you doing here? We found out Commander Sanders here was here, so we changed course. Oh, oh, that's not the order in which the events transpired, Captain. Here, Mamia, have another shot. Oh, mm, yummy. (laughs) I think I will. Much appreciation, Commander Foley. What's gotten into him? Do you want my medical opinion? I guess so. He's a name and toxic. Um, he's. A... You mew drunk. <laughs> um, thank you, Doctor Oshucks. It appears you're drunk as well. Who are you calling drunk? I'm only lit. <laughs> Sorry, uh, uh, meow meow. I'm really surprised to see you here. <laughs> I just want to be part of the group. <laughs> Why can't I be part of the group? Because you're evil. I'm not evil. I've told you on numerous occasions that I am not evil. Why do you keep calling me evil? Because you are evil. As you can see, Admiral Jameson, we found Commander Sanders here. Hello. So we'll just have a few more shots and then we'll be on our way. Bartender, line him up. Uh, I'm too care- I'm too tipsy to care what you do. As long as you don't let Bernie drive drunk. <laughs> right, Bernie? Uh, Bernie? Oh, uh, I think he might have uh, fallen asleep. Uh, must have had a bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie, wake up. We're at a party. Uh- oh, dear. Cock uh, what did you do to Bernie? Oh, me, Admiral Jameson? Uh, nothing. <laughs> I, I found him like this. <laughs> Uh-huh. You did not find uh-huh. him like this. You found him hey, in Mew, the room. Mew, Mew, have another shot with me. Oh, thank you. Uh-huh. Look, Admiral Jameson, I can attest. Bernie was the same. Uh-huh. He kicked the butt. Um, he uh, found Commander Sanders dead. He was dead. Then what is he doing down here? We found him down here. No, General Emerson, he was... Hey, Meow Meow, have a shot. Oh, yes, please. Stop giving Mew Mew shots. Mm. Will somebody please just tell me what happened? All right, all right, fine, fine. You caught us, all right? We found Bernie dead in his hotel room, and I decided to bring him down to the party. I didn't want to leave Taplicia 1 without getting at least a little crazy. Is is that a crime? Yes. 
I, I agree with who? There, there has to be a regulation against carrying around a dead body. Yes, regulation one six uh, zero five two point three subsection A paragraph five. Thank you. Do you do you realize how big you are? You're you're really big, like si- size. I believe. Yes. Yeah. That's enough. Return to your ship. Sober up. And get on with your next mission. But I don't have a first officer yet. Oh, right. You really need to stop letting him get killed. I, hey, I found Bernie like this. Sad. True. Admiral Jameson, if you don't mind me asking, sir, what are you doing on top Lycia 1? And without your wife, I might add. Oh, your wife isn't here? <laughs> well, I, uh, well, I, oh, I, no. I had to meet Commander Sanders here. Uh, and I came for the music, of course. I, I li- really like keyboards. And so it's really just official business. Okay, well, how about this, Admiral? Dr. Allshucks will sit on your lap. Wait, I'll do what now? Sit on the good Admiral's lap. Oh, his lap. <laughs> oh, okay, then. Lieutenant Commander Meow Meow will have some tequila shots with Bartender, you. Bartender! More tequila! Copious tequila! <laughs> copious. 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 Who will make sure you make it home safe? And Chief Foley, well, him and I will go party way, 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 way over there. And then tomorrow we can all go home. How does that sound? Well, I, I guess that'd be all right as long as Dr. Oshucks doesn't put her shirt back on. Uh, one day couldn't hurt. Great. See you later. Wait! Kake! What about the body? Oh, oh, hey, I can take care of that, Admiral. Mew, mew to the thrifty. Uh, this is the thrifty? Lieutenant Fitzy Fitz, please beam up the corpse of Commander Sanders. I s- I- I'm sorry, what was that? Mewbaka out! <laughs> do you, do you get it? Do you get it? I don't get it. <laughs> Captain's Diary. That was a hell of a week on top Lycia 1. I did body shots off of a triple-breasted beauty on spring break. And I think I got at least four new diseases on my penis. The medication Dr. Allshucks gave me is doing just fine, though, and I hardly feel anything down there right now. Speaking of Dr. Allshucks, I need to give her a commendation for going above and beyond and keeping Admiral Jameson distracted for five whole days. Though now that I know she's been with Jameson, I think I want her less. Never mind, I'd still do her. And a commendation to Lynette Hu for having to watch them go at it, like me and the girls' JV volleyball team in my high school dance. Commander Sanders is in cold storage below decks, and we'll be dropping him off on Earth the next time we swing by. I'll never forget old Bernie and everything that, we, that he taught me, such as the perfect way to die, partying to death with topless women at the age of 217, and how people poo their pants when they're dead, and that no amount of tequila can get that smell out of your nose. Nor is it easy to hide such a thing in a crowd of people. I should have never had Fitzy beam him back down to the planet. And I learned that the authorities of Teplicia One will ban you for an entire year from their planet for carrying around a corpse with poo-filled pants in their bars. Ah, oh, well, I could probably use a break from drinking anyhow. That's long enough. Kake to Foley, grab your scotch and meet me in my quarters, and see if Dr. Allshucks is free. So, this is the tale of our noble crew. They're here for a long, long time, with phones and lights and hover cars, really all the luxuries. Unlike Robinson Crusoe, it's not primitive at all. It's Alvin and Radio Hour number 75. Universe Journey, Weekend at Commander Sanders, Special Confest 2016 Edition. Star, Nick Argenbright as Captain Kake. Shane Stefanchik as Lieutenant Commander Meow Meow. Seamus Talty as Chief Engineer Foley. Chase McCann as Lieutenant Hu Grappa. Amanda Iman as Dr. Oshucks. Keith Jackson as Admiral Jameson. Samantha Stark as Commander Sanders. And Addie Peel as Fitzgerald Fitzy Fitzsimmons. The episode, as always, was narrated by Chris Allen with... Sound effects provided by Seamus Talty. The show is written by Jerome Wetzel with music by Nathan Haley and Jerome Wetzel. 
please check out our website. It's omnunradiohour.com. If you rate and review us on iTunes, we'd really appreciate that. That helps us out a lot. You wouldn't believe it. And follow us on social media at ibdpresents.com. Until next time, have a good week. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hello, good people of ComFest. Are you having a great weekend thus far? Yeah! All right, excellent. Well, thank you all for coming out today. If you like today's show, uh, we, perform a, we perform brand new episodes every month at the amazingly awesome Mad Lab Theater in Columbus. Yeah. That's yeah. That's right. We ask that uh, you please don't heckle or call out, though laughter and applause works just fine. Except for the one part where we'll want you to all yell, Bernie. Uh, and Seamus, by the way, Seamus is right here. Uh, Seamus will actually uh, stand up and point to you when it's time to yell, Bernie. So let's try that out right now. So, uh, Hi, Bernie. All right, let's try it one more time. Three, two, one.